back in action. We back in the action, boys. Yeah, I'm wearing my porn star shirt today. And to answer your question, also, yes, this will be the shirt that I wear when I finally slay Selena Gomez. Uh, actually, can I just rant for a second? Can, one, because I'm fucking hammered, and two, because I actually have something to talk to y'all about. How is it that I have a following of over 300,000 of y'all, and not one of y'all yet? has hooked me up with Selena Gomez or at least gotten me close. Bro, you guys are driving me mental. You need to get on that or else I'm gonna have to take illegal measures to get her myself. No, I'm not gonna kidnap her. I'm just gonna take her respectfully and borrow her for probably ever. Anyway, Matt, getting into the video, I try to drag this out like Ray Ray drags out his house. The weather is really shitty in Winnipeg for two minutes of the video. Dog, no hate, but you are a goddamn fax machine for weathering. It's weird. It really is. What I am gonna do is take two minutes talking about bullshit of how I'm actually gonna fuck Selena Gomez when it comes down to that point. And we're also gonna talk about another video that I really wanna do. Hopefully tonight if you guys give me your blessing. Now let's get the first topic off our chest. How am I gonna fuck Selena Gomez when I finally get to touch her for the first time? Well, it goes quite simple, you see. Uh, I thought about this long and hard. Uh, when I first meet Selena Gomez, Gomez, I will undress her and I will caress her butt like it is somewhat of a melon like two halves of a watermelon That's better after that. I'm gonna lube her up a little bit with a lot of fucking oil I'm just gonna spray the bitch Yeah, that sounds sick Then I'm gonna take out my spring baseball bat and smack her across the head not hard But just to show her I'm boss and if she thinks that's weird I'm gonna shove it up my ass and show her how fucking manly I am and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna take out a condom and poke lots of holes in it and then throw it on the ground and say bitch We ain't using this we making babies today with her blessing of course now in order to make those babies I have to whip out my penis and you know grab her pants and just say once again Hey, are you okay with this? Of course, she's gonna say yes And then I'm gonna carefully insert my penis into her fucking belly button and then once I come in her belly button You know what I'm gonna do next? I gotta slick <laughs> too drunk for this. All right. Anyway, next topic The next topic is, um, you guys have been asking a lot lately of where my cameramen have been. Cameraman Ian and Cameraman Adam. It's kind of been a bit of an issue that I haven't talked about on camera, because I hope they would figure it out themselves. Now, if you guys don't know, I was at the cottage last week, and I actually invited both of them there, and while I was at the cottage, I wasn't really vlogging. I was just trying to chill for once in my life without the camera, which happens actually always. They got into a little bit of an argument, because they are both on the payroll, and I pay them per video that they do. Now, Adam has not been giving me enough attention, in terms of wanting to film videos and Ian has so I've been picking Ian a little bit more However, Adam's getting a little mad at that. Ian's defending himself. They're kind of clashing a little bit So I said, you know what until you guys figure this shit out I'm not gonna use any of you guys I'm gonna keep my money and just make videos myself now Here's where the video idea comes into play I'm actually gonna if you guys want leave a huge like down below and let me know down below if this is a dope idea But if they're down with it, I'm gonna invite them both over tonight We're gonna have a big long talk and it might be an extra upload today or I might upload it tomorrow But I want them to figure it out on camera tell you guys what each of their situation is and at the end of it you guys are gonna vote for who you want to see more so that's a little video idea but without further ado the neighbor I found is real real strong we're marking the game the greatest of all time you all are the goats and let me know once again actually because I really want to make that video I love feuds especially on camera like Adam's kind of a bitch and he really doesn't let himself get pushed around even though he's a fucking nerd so I do think it'll be a good dynamic now let's get into the video so as y'all know we got a series on the channel where we actually buy shit on the internet I add it to my cart we don't do an unboxing but I'll tell you we'll do an unboxing later. Now, a lot of the time you guys call me on it, it's true. A lot of the time I don't buy all this stuff because then I get undrunk and unstoned as fuck. Then I'm like, hey man, it's probably not a good idea to spend like $5,000 on a bunch of shit. However, I did take your guys' comments and we actually did a video the other day of buying the cheapest hype piece sneakers on Amazon. First sneaker came in and we're gonna unbox it right now. It's a pair of Yeezys that we got for $20. Now, when I was on the site, I did the most legit checking that I could and I wanted to buy the best fake pair of Yeezys like I said for 20 bucks. Let's get into it. Right, right, I forgot the question. Hey, Brad, how the mother of dick about to open up that package, you puss? We'll just demount my gas really quick. <laughs> Alright, now that I shot through the fucking box with my sick gat, here we go boys. So, we got a pair of Yeezy 350s, we got a lot more coming in, except I think it's gonna take a lot longer because I live in Canada, they suck with shipping. But this is what we got right here, now I, I don't even remember actually what Yeezys they are, I have a bunch of Yeezys that are coming in, but I am gonna do the legit check, I will tell you how good they are for $20, I however will not leave a link down below because I do not promote fake sneakers, I'm just gonna let you guys know how to not get scammed, so YouTube does not kill me on that. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> this is dope actually. You guys know I always customize with real sneakers. However, if I'm out of stock with Yeezys, I do sometimes use fakes and I always let you guys know. This is one of the ones, if they are good, I will customize without further ado. These look like fucking ass. What the fuck? Anyway, sorry, I promised to control my temper. You guys get mad at me for that? Like, if somebody has an anger issue on YouTube, I think that's fucking hilarious. That's why I don't even control myself. Anyway, we got the white ones right here. I hopefully will be getting another box soon so we can do the other ones. They're flimsy like a little bit of a fucking scrotum, if you will. They feel like my ball sack without balls in them, which I've actually had before. Don't ever get drunk and just cut out your testicles to see what they look like, and then you're like, oh fuck, I don't know how to get these back in. Straight to the ER. They ask you what the fuck happened, and and all you can say is, hey, I got in a fight with a bear and he raped me. Anyway, man, this is the white ones we got for $20 off Amazon. Uh, first off, I'm going to say the shape is really, really bad. Despite, like, the flimsiness of them, the shape. If you can fit your ball sack, and I know I'm on a ball sack tangent. However, I was watching a little bit of P-Ron earlier, and this dude had a fucking gigantic sack. And I was like, this is hilarious. I cannot jerk off now. <laughs> this thing was, like, this big. Anyway, that's why ball sack's on my mind. But not in a gay way. It's comedy. The patterning actually is not about it all. I have owned over 30 pairs of Yeezys in my life, so take my legit check seriously, for real. And then with those 30 Yeezys, I actually destroyed them all and I pretty much burnt my money away. So we're actually gonna check the boost right now. The thing with fakes is the boost is always fucking great now. Like, they go to the same factory with their boost. These are fucking awful. I don't know why I thought I'd get a full video out of this. This is how they look. You guys know they're fucking fake. Fuck! I'm still pissed at that. Oh god, I thought that broke my table. I had a fucking plan so I could actually just do two customs this week with these, and the fuck I just like, I know they're $20, man. I just fucking hate that. I don't actually, I don't know why I'm complaining. Anyway, fuck. I'm just in a bad mood, I think. Ah, I did run out of beer. That might be one reason. Well, of course, we're gonna check the other one fucking flat. This is actually why I don't buy this shit because you guys are just gonna get a shitty fucking video about me getting pissed off about how fake they are, even though I know they're fucking fake and I'm just gonna get mad. Sorry. But, uh, anyway, first off, I do wanna say fuck this, actually. First off, fuck that. Second off, um, I do wanna say also that I will be at SneakerCon LA in two weeks. If you guys are gonna be there, I am taking Caraman in and Caraman Adam is gonna be fucking peeved. I haven't even told him yet. I didn't even invite Caramad Adam because I actually I'm not gonna lie, I kinda I kinda want this I kinda want to make this feud a little bit worse because I think it'd be even funnier with a blow up on camera. I kinda like that. YouTubers are shitty, so <laughs> I invited Caramad Ian without Caramad Adam because I expect Adam to give me a phone call because I'm gonna call him when I'm there and get Ian on the phone and he's gonna be fucking peeved. <laughs> Quite honestly, I'm gonna try to get that on camera too. So I got this all planned out. If you guys are gonna fucking fight like assholes, I am play with it. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. We're not even gonna get this 10 minutes. If you guys even want more unboxings of this, maybe you know what? Next time I'll do unboxings of the full things that I purchased off the website because I purchased like seven things. So you guys let me know. Um, this is just the first trial run for what I purchased off Amazon or any other websites I work with. Name brand fans, real, real Sean Merck in the game, the greatest of all time, y'all the goats. Blah.